Since the dawn of time, man has endeavored to make, to mold and to create the world into their vision of the future. The future is now here. Much in the way that Prometheus brought fire to humanity, Archimedes brought mathematics to the modern century, and Al Gore created the internet for information sharing of all ages. The Taz 4 from Lulzbot brings the creations of humanity to your home. This is the Taz 4 3D printer from Lulzbot. For those of you not familiar with 3D printers, 3D printers allow you to start with a filament such as this, which is essentially a thermoplastic that when melted it can form into a different shape and then when cooled it solidifies into a hard shape like this. And the printer allows you to load up filament, inject it out of a little nozzle, and create your own parts from scratch. It's pretty amazing. The TAS4 has a lot of interesting features, including a standard print head which can print just about anything that's out there. It even has this nice little LCD display that you can display the temperature settings, where you are in the print, and you can even just plug an SD card into the side and load a print directly from there without needing a computer. The TAS4 comes largely assembled. There's just a couple small steps that you need to do to assemble it out of the box and do a couple minor calibrations. Thankfully, we have a companion video to this video that shows you not only how to unbox it, how to set it up, and get it on your first print. So you might want to go ahead and check that out if you're interested in the TAS, just what you need to know to get one up and running. In addition to the TAS4 printer, we also have a few accessories for it this week as well. We have the Flexi Struder, which is an additional print head for the 3D printer, and this allows you to print different types of materials like the Ninja Flex or some of the other more flexible materials. We also have different types of filament for you this week. We've got some ABS, we've got some PLA, and we have, of course, the really cool Ninja Flex. ABS and PLA are going to be great for most of your general purpose prints. ABS is kind of the classic. It's a little bit more durable. It's better heat resistance, but it might be a little bit trickier to print than something like PLA. PLA is a biodegradable plant-based material, so it's a little bit more eco-friendly. It is a little bit easier to print than an ABS, but also doesn't have the durability or the heat resistance that the ABS has. We have both of these in four different colors um, that we will have stock of here soon. In addition, we also have the very interesting and popular Ninja Flex. As you can see from the ABS and both the PLA, is they're a very rigid material. They don't have a lot of flex or bend to them. Whereas with the Ninja Flex, it is very flexible and very bendable, and this even translates in the final print. So these are both printed with the ABS, and you can see that they're very hard. If we were to print these with the Ninja Flex, they would actually be very squishy and flexible. So it makes for a much different type of material to print because you could do something like a cell phone case or anything where you maybe want a little bit give or flex to it. For those of you interested in rapid prototyping, you might be interested in the TAS4 and you should definitely check it out. One of the benefits to the TAS4 is it's calibrated, it's ready to go. All you have to do is assemble it, run it through the test procedure, and you're ready to start printing. With other printers, for instance, a RepRap or the other printers that you have to build yourself, you might be running through a lot of setup and construction just to get that first print. So if you're looking for something that you just need to plop down and start printing right away, you might want to check out the open source TAS4. Next up, we have another very interesting product for you this week. This is the SparkPunk sound generator. This is our own take on the classic Atari Punk console. It comes as a kit, so it has all these parts inside. You put it together and you get this little guy. I could sit here and talk about all the different features and specs of this board, but you probably just want to see what it can do and what it sounds like. So we have a full separate video that demonstrates one of these working and it's pretty cool. So you'll want to check out that separate video. And for anyone interested in how it works, we have a really great tutorial on not only how to put it together, but also the theory behind its operation. These are some of the new products we have for this week. Of course, we have the very exciting TAS4 3D printer. We have all the filaments and the Flexi Struder. And of course, we have the very exciting Spark Punk Sound Generator. As always, we have even more new products on the website. So if you want to check that out at sparkfun.com, go ahead and do so. 
and be sure to watch the supplemental video for the Taz, as well as the supplemental video for the Spark Punk. And we're only one week away from ABC, so be sure to see us at ABC next Saturday.